What's up guys, I'm Jared from Blackwatch Studios in Norman and I'm going to show you the new Walrus Audio Janus pedal today. I'm Chad Copeland from Blackwatch Studios and I'm going to be trying out the Janus on a uh, Juno keyboard today. Give yourself a little beat, play two. is a dual joystick operated uh, fuzz and trim pedal. You can think of the pedal as kind of being a two-in-one type scenario with the main like right parameter over here being all your fuzz controls and over here on the left being all your tremolo controls. Playing the Les Paul through this Marshall. Playing here uh, is with the blend all the way down. That's completely dry, clean signal. And as I turn the blend knob up, it accordingly adjusts the uh, amount of fuzz that's added to my signal. This is at about halfway. And then this is at about 100%. This is fully affected signal here with just the fuzz. Next feature is this knob labeled level that doesn't adjust the gain of the fuzz at all, just your output level. Thirdly is the funnest part of the pedal, uh, the joystick. And it's basically on two axes. When you're uh, adjusting the joystick vertically, you're going to be controlling the tone of the fuzz. With the farthest south point, more mild, darker tone, and as you push forward, you'll get brighter, more kind of aggressive tones. A little bit brighter at the top. A little bit more muted and darker at the bottom. So the second feature is the horizontal axis here, and that will control the depth of the fuzz, I would say, how aggressive uh, your fuzz parameter is. So right here, I'm just going to start over at the left, which is kind of the most mild setting for the fuzz, which is still fairly fuzzy. And as I scroll to the right, you'll hear the, the intensity increase. A lot of times when I'm recording keyboards, I like to uh, have something to give the keyboard some motion. That's without the pedal. Sometimes that can get a little bit static. What I like about this... I have the ability to use the uh, fuzz um, joystick here to kind of filter the sound in and out. Right now I'm on the center mode, is what I've been playing through previously, but if I flip to the left it's going to be a different type of distortion, as will the switch to the right. This uh, switch basically chooses between different clipping diodes that uh, will, in a, in a sense, give a, a different type of distortion. Each, each mode has a different character. This first fuzz mode is very aggressive. I think it'd sound cool on low end. Without the pedal, we've got... With the pedal... Then we have this switch that uh, is labeled bass, and it's a simple uh, bass roll-off, basically, or a bass boost, depending on how you look at it. This is uh, without the bass boost engaged. 
width. So it just adds a little bit of that kind of low mid-range, makes the size and everything seem a little bit bigger. We got the tremolo over here. On keyboards, I like to kind of just pop it in for essentially fills or kind of turn it on here and there. The tremolo has its own bypass switch, uh, as does the fuzz, so you can independently turn each one on and off. So when we look at the joystick here, this is going to uh, operate on two axes again, vertically and horizontally. And we'll start with the vertical controls. The, they are going to control the rate of the tremolo. So as we go up, the rate will increase. And as we go down, uh, the rate will decrease. So I'll start down here towards the bottom of the joystick and you'll hear a slower tremolo speed. left to right, we'll be adjust, adjusting the depth of the tremolo. So when I'm at this far left point, it's at the most mild setting and you almost don't even notice the tremolo. Right now I'm on the uh, far uh, left mode with the bass boost is currently engaged and my joystick's pretty much right in the middle. So this is no tremolo, just fuzz. I'll just play a few different things with those settings. And again, my blend is at 100% right now. I'm going to try the, uh, the latest in Roland technology, the uh, JX1 here. have a Strymon El Capistan delay pedal here. It's set at a pretty mild delay setting with moderate repeats uh, and around maybe 400 milliseconds of delay. And next, the Strymon uh, Blue Sky reverb pedal. <laughs> I'm gonna pull the tone of the fuzz back a little bit, which makes the fuzz a little bit darker um, itself, but you still kind of hear the high end coming from the Strymon with the uh, shimmery reverb.
recording scenario, I can take a sound that's pretty cheesy or kind of strange. Kind of lo-fi it a little bit and use the uh, fuzz as a filter on it. Getting the reverb tails or delay trails with the darker settings on the fuzz, it's really good for like pronouncing a, a simple melody, like you have a really simple like two or three note phrase, uh, just kind of helps the phrase sing a little bit. A lot of times I'm looking for something to kind of lead into a chorus. Um, for instance, uh, if I just play this chord, the chorus hits, there's no anticipation, so I think it's kind of cool to do something more like this. Or you have a few options, you can make it less aggressive. Just subtle changes like that that give some sort of dynamic and motion to an instrument that may or may not have it. Another option is use a tremolo at the same time. That's uh, pretty much it, the uh, Walrus Audio Janus uh, joystick operated tremolo and fuzz pedal.